Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 24th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we will be talking about two clauses, the top clause and the limit clause. And uh, both these clauses are used for the same purpose and uh, the purpose is to limit the number of records that you get in your result set when you execute a query. And uh, the top clause is uh, a part of the ANSI standard for SQL and uh, the limit clause is the alternative for top in the MySQL environment. So there are some databases that do not allow you to use a top clause and uh, MySQL is one such database and even in Oracle you've got Ronum as uh, the substitute for top but you do not have the top clause uh, in, in, in Oracle or MySQL. So let's check out how both these clauses work. So as I said, the top clause is used to fetch, you know, given number of records through a query from a table and, uh, you know, it makes sense to have such a thing because, you know, sometimes you would be working with tables that have, you know, quite a lot of data like, you know, 1000 rows or 5000 rows and, uh, you know, if you would execute a normal simple select star query on that table, you know, you would get 5000 rows in your result set and if suppose you just want to see, you know, 5 or 10 sample rows from that table, then, you know, you can use a top clause to limit the number of rows that you get. And at first I thought that I should uh, show you an application of the top clause uh, you know by finding an online SQL editor that allows me to use it but uh, then I thought that you know since limit is hardly you know at all different from top I would uh, you know show you an application of the limit clause in the MySQL environment. So the syntax of top is pretty simple you've got the select keyword first and then you type in top and then the number of records that you want to see in your result set followed by the column list and then you type in the keyword from and the name of the table and the optional where condition and uh, the syntax of limit is in fact simpler you know you've got your regular select query first so select column list from table name you know optional where clause condition and then you know you type in the keyword limit that's l-i-m-i-t and then the number of rows that you want to see in your result set and you put the semicolon at the end and execute the query and it would work perfectly so let's check out an example of this uh, in the mysql environment so I've got my workbench here and we'll be working with the employee table in the test database and uh, I'll first execute a regular select star from a query on the table to show you guys uh, you know the data that's there in the table at present so as you can see there are a lot of rows in the table and there are 17 in total now let's say I just want to see five uh, rows you know and not uh, all the rows in the table. So all I'll have to do is remove the semicolon at the end, type in the keyword limit and then I'll type in 5 because I want to see 5 records. I'll put in a semicolon at the end of this and when I execute this query, I see that uh, only 5 rows are returned this time. Right, and these five rows are the rows that appeared uh, at the top in in the previous uh, query result as well. Right, so we've just limited the number of uh, rows that we get in the result set, and you know it's pretty simple. There's hardly anything in this to understand. So, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting, important uh, for sure. Please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you soon.